Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and I'm joined again today by Tomer. How's it going, Tomer? I'm doing well, Seth. How are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. So after a short break for the holidays, I think we missed an episode or missed a week, we are back with another edition of This or That Magic, and this week we are taking advantage of the winter season to find out what is better is is it hot or is it cold so <laughs> oddly both tomer and i come from fairly cold locations i think canada's got to be that's even north of me in new york so you got to be even colder i would assume right yeah like toronto is mildly cold we still get snow it's not as bad at other places but yeah universally cold up here i would say so since you're from the the snowy cold north tomer you're representing cold this week so why don't you tell us a little bit about what your cold deck is trying to do all right uh it was pretty easy for me to assemble a, a cold deck i focused mostly on snow and luckily for us in Magic's history, we have actually snow themed sets. We have first the Ice Age set, and then we have the, the, like the revisiting of the Ice Age set with, with Cold Snap. All snow covered creatures, a new snow subtype, and all the snowy stuff um, in all the colors. And then we had another snow theme come more recently in modern times during Clans of Tarkir with uh, two of the clans, actually, the Jeskai clan and the Teemer clan both have a very snow-themed environment. The Jeskai dragon's ice and Teemer is like in a snowy forest area. So both of them had a lot of snow in their artwork and snow-themed stuff going on. So it was really easy for me to cobble together a list of snow-themed creatures and icy creatures that uh, all work in a cohesive unit. And my style of play for this deck is cold winter slowing you down, <laughs> Seth. Uh, I just, I'm not going to be an aggressive deck. I'm trying to slow you down and win with the long con. So hopefully I'll, I'll catch you with surprise of uh, what that is. Uh, well, I'm excited to see it. It sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> and of course, since I'm from Balmy, upstate New York, I will be yeah. <laughs> representing the the hot side in the battle. And my deck, kind of like yours, the cards are on theme for hot, but it also plays out uh, the opposite of your deck. You're saying you're kind of slow and defensive. I have a ton of haste creatures. So as I was thinking about this deck, the most obvious thing to do with hot is burn spells that felt a little bit obvious so the more i thought about it i realized i could build a desert tribal deck so this is kind of on theme with an arid dry desert so i have a bunch of sand like dry sandy creatures which gives me these like vachino sand stalkers and vachino sand swimmers which are these weird haste creatures and i have a bunch of just like dry deserty stuff so i figured that deserts are pretty dry and hot so instead of going the more obvious burn spell route, I'm going to try this. So it's a kind of a five color deck, technically, mostly Naya, but there's some black spells thrown in there too. So I'm excited to see. I don't know if I'll be able to force through all of your, all of your defense with my sand creatures, but I'm going to give it a shot. That sounds sweet. And yeah, I, I, I deeply respect the fact that you went with a de desert theme instead of just a burn theme. Because what could have happened is he could have just showed up with, like, a legacy burn deck. and be like, oh, these are all fire themes. <laughs> all right, I went turn three fire blast. <laughs> oh, yes, there's no fire blast. Actually, there there might be one in the sideboard. I do have some burn spells in my sideboard, but the main deck is very on theme with deserts. And I just kind of ran out of desert themes for the sideboard. So then I had to, like, expand out into fire and some other, like, somewhat <laughs> hot themes, but not directly yeah. desert related. Fire is definitely 100% percent on theme regardless <laughs> all right so i won the die roll so i guess i'll play first and i guess this is a keeper <laughs> i don't know if this deck is good at all but <laughs> this 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 hand is uh yeah hopefully it does things uh please don't kill my one creature and i'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably the biggest benefit of being desert tribal is you get some sweet fetch lands. Arid Mesa, very on the desert theme. Yeah, very arid, I would say. Uh, I start with just the snowy frontier. By uh, Seth, what can you help me here? Uh, I think I think it might be bivouac. That's that actually how, sounds really that, right. That's how I've heard people say it. So, but I'm yeah, I'm the last person you want to ask for pronunciation <laughs> advice. Uh, I'm gonna go with that bivouac. That sounds good. 
All right, uh, so I'm going to be aggressive, I guess, with the first creature on the battlefield. Boreal Centaur. Ooh. Could even, he's, a, he's a bear with an upside. You can pump him up with my snow-covered island. All right, I guess it's time to crack my Arid Mesa, and we'll get another deserty card, a plateau. I guess it's like half desert. Play a Marsh Flats, also sort of desert-themed. Mm-hmm. And uh, get a... I mean, marsh, desert... Eh, I'll, 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 I'll ask one. <laughs> I, I can't justify by you other than I'm four colors and I want to cast my spells, so... <laughs> That's a good justification. I'll allow that. Uh, but Sandstep Outcast is Ooh. is Sandy. I think I will make a spirit token rather than pumping it up. And pass turn. Interesting. Um, I don't think I'm going to attack into that. I'm going to play a Carplucin Forest. You can see that there is snow in the foreground. That is pretty snowy. And it's snowy. a snowy forest. And I don't think I can attack into that. Uh, well, I could, but... Oh, uh, Spirit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on, on attacking. I'm not actually an aggressive deck, so I don't think that's the way I'm going to win. Um, well... I'm going to brave the sands, <laughs> which is Ooh. awesome in my very aggressive deck that bounces things back to my own hand. Creatures have vigilance and can block an extra creature. Sort of weird as far as how my deck plays out, but it means I can get in for one with this spirit and still block with it. Yeah, I can't swing back. And then I'll go with Sands Deep Citadel. Hmm? I have some very good lands in this deck. I'm proud of this mana base, apart from the Bayou. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right. All right. Uh, I will do a Highland Wield, and I don't have too many interesting things to do right now. Uh, you know what? You know what? Okay, I'll do. I'll do this. Boom, boom. Sylvan Scrying. Look for a land. That doesn't look too snowy. Uh, uh, yeah, there's ice in the background, and yeah, mm, there's snow. And, uh, good, you know, close enough. <laughs> I thought that was a a waterfall, but maybe that's ice. I I did go grab something that is very snowy, so it's it means to an end. Okay, <laughs> so mouth of Ronome, and I'll oh, pass. I think there's base there's like three cards in the deck that aren't a hundred percent snowy, but they lead to a very snowy finisher. Okay. So, that's, well, that's definitely one of them. I have another one in my hand. <laughs> I'll get the Badlands, and, oh, man, this card is on flavor, but I don't think it's very good. <laughs> I didn't know this was a card until I started oh building this deck. God. The Sand Golem, 3-3 three, three for 5. That's it. Oh, well, it's it's really good discard uh, protection. Oh, you can pay... You can pay one and pump that, so I better not attack with that. I'll just get in with the flyer. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, let me play my mouth of Rono. Uh, now, yeah. if your spirit is getting a little bit too feisty, I can deal with it. <laughs> uh, but first, actually, I think I'm just going to play this little gem, which I think I want to start playing in EDH at least, uh, try it out at least. Hibernation's End. Yeah. Um, each turn, it starts uh, finding creatures and puts them into the battlefield, which is crazy. It's like a like a really bad birthing pod, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Janky birthing pod. Well, I guess which is still fine. I guess we attack with everything. If you want to trade off your your guy, that's fine. I'll take two. Uh, play a planes and pestered. All right. Let's let's pay the one. With the mouth. Boom. Do I have a one drop though? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, do I get this one or this one? Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to get this one. Boreal Druid. Uh, yep. Snow creature. Okay, I'm not going to play this land. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's, let's play this. And uh, let's also. All right, this is number two. Number two of the <laughs> not so okay, but they're in a in a really frozen frigid area that they're checking out. What? They're inside of a cave that's 
<laughs> and outside is really, really cold. You just can't see it in the artwork. That's all. <laughs> uh, I want to know what this is building towards, all this land searching <laughs> stuff. Well, I have what might be my best card in the oh. entire deck in Secure the Waste. And if you look, uh, they're definitely charging through a desert, a very hot desert, I think. So this one doesn't look thematic, but it actually is. Um, I have a response, I think. Oh, yes, yes, I do. Okay, that's good. Is this a... Super Charm. You can see there is fire, so you could make a, a st an argument that maybe it is for the hot deck, but if you look around the surroundings, it's quite cold, and it is indeed snowing. Uh, did you um, sort of fire and ice? Did you consider that for your deck? Uh, yes, because I did use some inspiration of the deck list from your snow deck from the Holidays Commander Clash. So I saw it in your list and I considered it, but ultimately did not go with it. I I did the same thing. I, the the fire part made me feel like I could put it in my deck, but then the other half is ice. <laughs> so I felt <laughs> like that was so like anti my theme that it would. I didn't know how to like weigh that out, so I just left it on the sidelines. Uh, the I good, think it'd be fair. Uh, the good news is I have my second best card in my deck since you countered the first back one. Uh, <laughs> Has his, oh. on, has his on Tamar. Uh-oh. <laughs> going to make a bunch... I really want to see what these Sand Warriors look like. I've never seen... Huh? Uh... Uh, what? Oh, the beginning of my next upkeep. Oh, okay. Oh, that you never see anymore. No, so. <laughs> that's unique. Uh-huh. Well, that is good for me because I really need one more turn to survive. <laughs> <laughs> really... Because I have something sweet coming up. Oh. Um, do I block this? Nah. All right. Oh, boy. It's happening. It's a two drop. Here comes a two drop. <laughs> Not just any two drop. Oh, no. Behold, the deck's shtick, if you will. What is... Hibernation's end ability. All right, this is the third card that is not on theme very well, but it all leads up to this. Dark Depths? Uh, oh, no! <laughs> it, it, it is an icy card. You can notice it has uh, ice counters on it. And, uh, yeah. I'll just inconspicuously pass the turn, I think, maybe? Uh, wait. One, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I could do this, actually. Okay, one. Oh, I don't have black mana. That's awkward. All right. Boom. Uh, hmm. That's going to be Blue a problem. Sector? Well, at least I get to see these sand tokens <laughs> before I get merit <laughs> yeah. aged. <laughs> I mean, if you have some sort of overrun, maybe you have this. But uh, all right, uh, those are those are pretty sweet. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That must be like newer art too. Oh, I can't even cast this, can I? I cannot. Hmm. Do I get it with merit liege? Well. The only thing I can think to do here... Oh, man. This Hazazon is so bad because I can't attack with the tokens. Yeah. I have if, to wait it, a whole other turn. If it battlefield of it, then you would have had I, me, possibly? I think I would have uh, because <laughs> I would have hit you for seven. And I guess I'm just going to cast this because I'm going to die anyway. But I would have hit you for seven and then the dry spell. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, I guess I have to do this now. Uh, I hoped. Oh, I was thinking maybe I would distract you uh, with my banter, and you would forget to do this. And you it's would... always a possibility. That is a good, a good try. <laughs> always worth trying. I think that was my only out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yup. Now we die to merit lage. Uh, I think I'm okay letting this die. Don't need to show you any more cards. I swing with the Merit Liege and the Lizard Spectre, because why not? Yep, that's a combo. Well, it did the thing. That well, now I know. So I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be on a lookout for that. Do I have anything in my sideboard that beats a Merit Lage? <laughs> oh. It's just, just a twenty twenty flying indestructible. I I I don't see what's so difficult about answering, right? I guess we can bring that in. Ooh. This would probably kill us, too, but we might as well try it. <laughs> uh, 
You know what? I'm just gonna run it as it is. Well, probably a good choice, what? Mr. Yeah, Merrillage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do have a couple of land destruction spells. I just gotta hope I draw them. It's unfortunate you saw all the non-thematic cards. It was Expedition Map, Vampire Hex Mage, and that other one. Aha! All right. <laughs> you can't beat this hand. Uh, this is the most awkward hand, but it does have. Hmm. Oh man, do I keep this? So awkward. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. All right. Well, mountain go. Okay. Foresty thing go. I like the commander tap out. Oh, it's a habit. <laughs> Um, let's play Marsh Flats. Past turn. Oh, uh, it's not panning out like I wanted it to, but at least I can play this. Boreal Center returns. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, we kind of need another land. Unfortunately, I have a, a land that doesn't like producing mana. <laughs> <laughs> it's on theme, though. Uh, still, oh, no. There's my answer to... Your merit lage. This is going to be very awkward for me. All right, fine, Glaciers. <laughs> not the land I wanted, but I guess it'll do. Oh, come on, mana producing land. Would be <laughs> so sweet. Oh, thank you. Well, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, Oasis. That's Oasis. You can stop my, my beat down of the Boreal Centaur. This feels bad. I'm going to... Oh, cast Scouring Sands. Even well, though it doesn't do anything. Just because I really need to find... No! Deck. <laughs> oh, can we even keep that? We still can't cast anything. It's a... <laughs> it's a desert. My, <laughs> uh, my other horrible colorless land that's on theme. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it to the bottom. I think we need actual... Actual lands. Prevent the what next one damage that would be it's oh it's dealt to a creature, so I can't even stop your druid. <laughs> well I guess the beats will commence then. Or continue rather. Uh and then I will Thankfully I top deck the land. A good one. Land? Alright, that's a swamp. That works. Oh. So I think we're gonna crack the oh. Alright, we'll crack this. Get a... I think we need red mana of some kind. Red white or red black? Uh, we'll get a Badlands. And now what do we cast here? What is it? Flip a coin if you... <laughs> <laughs> I love how it starts to flip a coin. Oh, no. <laughs> These sand creatures. You know things got serious when, you're, when the coin flips are involved. Well, I guess we... I guess we play the Sandstone Warrior. All right, that's gonna that's gonna slow down my assault eventually. <laughs> uh, let me find glaciers. Uh, I guess I want an island right now. Start playing out the old hand. Oh, all right. Uh -oh. We have some action going on. Uh, thing in the ice. Oh, okay. And how about a frost walker? <laughs> Very good. And then I'll just play the glaciers again. No attacks. Ooh, another land. Things are looking up. Well, play Arid Mesa. Let's crack Arid Mesa. Get a plains. Oh man, does this does this win for us? It's gotta be uh -oh. good, right? Uh oh. I think we're gonna play it. One, two, three, four. We're going to play our sideboard tech, Burning Earth. Oh, no. Whenever a player taps a non-basic land for mana, they take one damage. It's going to do a lot of damage to me. <laughs> Hopefully. I guess I guess I need to, like, get on the offense or something. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, man. Oasis. Oasis is going to do some work. I just realized. <laughs> the oh, best, no. The best Oasis ever. Oh, no. I see what you're going to do, <laughs> and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. All right. Uh, let's just play an island. Um, I guess we start taking some damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yep, yep. 
No, I'm definitely taking it. Okay. Uh, then cast this face down creature. Oh. A cold morph. And how about... Oh, this isn't tap for mana? Well, that's... It's not great. Um, <laughs> let us... Well, yeah, let's just do this. Oh, man. Damage. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Ryan win task mage. Ooh. Can tap some stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to attack her. <laughs> so, end of turn. I am going to prevent a damage to your no. frost walker. <laughs> not my walker. Yeah, let's see. If you have four or most, more snow permanents, you can tap or untap a permanent. And right now you have one, two, three, four... Hmm. Could start killing your lands. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have green mana yet. Well, let's play this. One, two... Yes, we have to take a damage. Three. And let's just choking sands your uh. <laughs> your island. And pass the turn. Not my blue mana sources. <laughs> I gotta keep you with only non-basic so you take damage from the burning earth. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is awkward. Wait, I could take some damage. Oh, yeah, I'm not taking damage. Sweet. Yeah, technically you're not tapping for mana, so you're good. So now I have one, two, three, four again. And I can tap this guy down, and I guess I'm aggressive now. This is happening. Yup. And let us let's get in there. Oh, that's four. That's a lot of damage. Yep. And then let's let's deal some more damage to ourselves. With another morph card. Boom. Oh. Now please don't have a board wipe or else I'll be really sad. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any san sandy board wipes. Ooh. Uh there are. There's that there's that one um Destroy all creatures except the chosen one. Dune Blast. Boom. Oh, you're right. I don't think I have that. I, sh mm, I should green. have that, but... Oh, you are running green. Alright, I will play this Ooh. thing. At least it's sort of big. We'll probably just get tapped down, but... Hmm. These, these morphs are pretty scary. <laughs> they are. Uh... All right, what what do I do here? Okay, I'm gonna replay the glaciers. Yup. Going to one, two, three, four. Uh, do it like that. Chill to the bone. Oh no! Oh, I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. And then I will one. To ice. Never mind. Nope. Uh, never mind. Didn't say anything. <laughs> what is the cost of this? Oh, and you can't undo because of Burning Earth. <laughs> gotcha. You know what? I'll just make it a little bit fancier. I, I want to do this anyway. Boom. <laughs> that works. Make more mana this way. Boom. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Am I just literally dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Hey, that was, that was my intent the entire time. Yes. <laughs> the accidental lethal. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yikes. Yikes. So, wow. Well, that was a a, th a thorough thumping by the cold <laughs> side or over the hot side. That was not particularly close. I even drew my sweet sideboard deck, and it did not help at all. So, apparently, I, cold beats hot. <laughs> I, did, I didn't intend to be an aggressive deck. The entire purpose of the deck is to uh, be defensive, like I have Wall of Frost and stuff. But <laughs> apparently, yeah, I have some, uh, some two drops, and they can get the job done. Uh, the funny thing with my deck is I have... I was kind of built around these Vashino sand creatures that are 
efficient and have haste, but then you have to bounce them back to your hand. So I have four Vachino Sand Scouts, four Vachino Sand Soccers, four Vachino Sand Swimmers, and those are my only four ofs. Everything else in my deck is one ofs, and I didn't draw a single one of them in either game. So oh. I never really got a chance to play the, the sand creature game, but I don't know. I think, I think you're... Uh, because you're, the cold cards naturally lend themselves to being blue, I think you have a natural advantage over uh, over the red cards. You just have a little more flexibility. <laughs> <laughs> the blue advantage is real. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I think that the cold side probably is favored. On the other hand, I think if... I wanted to try to make the burn side or the, the hot side more competitive. Going the burn route would be the way to make the most competitive list, but I think this list was actually pretty sweet. I had some cool stuff we didn't get to see. I had uh, Obsidian Fireheart, which puts blaze counters on lands, and then every upkeep you have to take damage for each land you have with a blaze counter, so that one was pretty sweet. Uh, all the sand stuff, a little like land destruction sub-theme with Fallow Earth and Choking Sands, a little bit bit of removal and then some good stuff in the sideboard so i think the deck for being kind of desert themed was pretty good but i think that the most competitive hot list would probably just be like you said like legacy bird or something where you're just like yeah. fire blasting and lightning bolting and technically those cards are hot but it wouldn't be nearly as much fun as trying to get there with vicino sand scouts and so forth so is there anything else in your list tomer that we didn't really get a chance to see well, you got to see the primary win condition. I built the deck basically around Dark Depths. So I had a couple ways of grabbing it. Sylvan Scrying, Expedition Map, and I think one other one other way of, of getting it. Um, and then I had Vampire Hex Mage, Thespian Stage, <laughs> and and as, as my two ways of just removing the counters very quickly. Um, and otherwise, if I didn't do it that way, I was just going to remove it by slowing you down and making it very difficult to attack. <laughs> I had a Glacial Chasm in my hand, which prevents all damage to me to zero, but adds a cumulative upkeep. So I had a lot of ways to drag the game on. I had a Goblin Snowman that I really wanted to show you because it's janky and it's, it's actually very defensive in red of all things. Um, it's basically a, like a wall of fog or fog bank but for double the cost and it doesn't have flying, but it can tap to deal, it can tap to deal one damage to a creature that's blocking. So, it's, so I had a lot of jank, but I don't know. I think I had a very good curve when you just kind of stumbled on your colorless uh, lands and stuff. I got kind of lucky on the second one too, because I was literally just top decking the right lands. I didn't really have anything going on and it just kind of uh, fell into place. But uh, yeah, th that was a prime win condition. You got to see that. It wasn't really supposed to win that way, but it can also get in there for damage as well. It's all singleton, so like whatever you draw is whatever you draw, and there's not too much of a, a consistent strategy other than trying to get dark depths. So it was fun. I think the, the ceiling, the, the ceiling for hot and cold, uh, hot has a much higher ceiling. Cold probably has a much higher bottom, just because cold flavored stuff apparently are pretty decent. <laughs> Yeah, I think the biggest thing that that stood out is with cold, you actually have, because their sets build around cold, Ice Age and Cold Snap, like you mentioned, uh, you have some mechanics that are built in. Like you had that tapper creature that's like, oh, if you have four more snow permanents, there really isn't a hot mechanic like that or anything that really ties it together. Like uh, from looking over all mm -hmm. the hot cards, unless you're going to just be straight up burn, which just is doesn't seem fun to me and not... I don't know. I wouldn't feel right just playing a burn deck, but there's not really like a a really solid theme other than kind of like being aggressive. There's a lot of land destruction <laughs> for some reason on the theme, and that's about it. So I think there is some natural advantage to cold just because uh, it almost can play more like a dual deck where you have mechanics that hold everything together when hot doesn't really have that as much. We need a hot set uh, like Cold Snap was for cold we need one of those but instead be hot with some hot mechanics like yeah. firelands or something <laughs> to uh, really like, yeah. to hold it together i really like the the whole uh, like on fire mechanic the obsidian fireheart i think there's more design space there where you put you you literally 
put your uh, your opponent's lands on fire and they burn slowly over time. I thought that's really interesting. I think maybe you can have just like you put a, fi a flame counter on something and you can spread those flame counters around other permanents too and just burn everything down. I think that would be neat for a fire mechanic. But yeah, Wizards of the Coast kind of focuses on red in general just means aggro and burn and they don't really deal with certain themes. Whereas blue, if you do frost, you have stuff that uh, taps and doesn't untap on the next untap set to show that it's got chilled and it has uh, just a snow mechanic too. It's all just uh, winter themed. But yeah, not that much going on for fire, unfortunately. Yeah, and I guess it makes sense because I think they've gotten better with designing red in just the last couple of years. There's been more uh, like cathartic reunion and the reverse mm -hmm. looting, rummaging thing. So they've kind of tried to expand red to get away from the it's only burn spells and aggro stereotypes. So I think they're heading in the right direction, but they've been doing that with blue since the beginning. So red still has a lot of catching up to do for the hot side to be equal to the cold side in magic, I think. Yeah, they're pretty much just giving red blue stuff. Oh, you like looting? Well, red can loot too. Oh, polyvorph? Now it's red. <laughs> uh, that's how you make a color good in magic. Yeah. You just make it like Artifacts? blue. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, it's good that red is getting stuff outside of just the usual to the face. And I hopefully, hopefully they'll red will find its own identity as well yeah so well we'll have to revisit this battle in like five years and see <laughs> if the hot side is caught up with the cold side yeah see how design <laughs> has changed and the red identity changed <laughs> oh well good game tomer i guess we know okay. at least for now until more cards are printed the cold side is where you want to be <laughs> so <laughs> anyway thanks for taking the time to hang out and do it it was fun of course thanks for having me oh and thanks everyone for watching so i guess that's all for today and we will be back with another in a couple of weeks and we'll talk to you soon